So we have this really cool formation of sandstone, I'm guessing, or lime, no, it'd be sandstone. Kind of goes into the ground there. And then it goes along, but it curves. And it goes up. Isn't that cool? So this is a new spot we just found off the side of the highway. Another part of Lake Superior. Another beautiful point. Not much here for rocks though, it's mostly like small gravel. Pretty stuff, but pretty small. But uh, there might be some stuff over here. We're gonna have a look. Okay, we're getting into a little bit bigger stuff. A lot of uh, basalt, unikite, epidote, granite, quartz. Nice piece of quartz. And some nice. Where did I see that? Oh, it's not being nice to me. Here's some unikite. Granite with feldspar on it. Piece of epidote running through it. Isn't that amazing? How these things survive. There's the roots. That's crazy. So this is our third spot on our little truck today, but it's been raining pretty hard, so we haven't had a chance to do any videotaping, but we did find uh, some sea maggots and stuff. So we thought we'd check out this little spot. Every time we drove by, we wanted to stop here, and today we got a chance to. Traffic wasn't too bad, so we were able to pull off the highway pretty easy. And Penny's finding all the nice rocks right now while I'm talking. Beautiful here. Okay. Here's a nice piece of epidote. Oh, and it's raining again. Oh, Penny just Penny just found a, a cool rock. <laughs> Some little child is very sad. Yeah, some little kid lost her toy. Whatever, cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. like the little that one's got a purple color. Yeah. Nice. Another nice little stream that runs into Lake Superior. Anyway, runs up that way. Oh, that was cool. That's just a big crack in it. Some unikite. One good thing about looking for rocks in the rain is you can see them really well. That's a big 
this UK. Oh, that's cool. Some Epidote on that side. Pretty. There's some nice. Very nice. Another piece of unikite. That's a nice one. There's some pink quartz. Little piece of epidote. In order to get down to this beach, we kind of have to climb a bit of a hill. So let's give her a shot. Well, we don't have a choice. <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot. Grab onto this branch that somebody knocked down. The rest isn't too bad. I'll have one more look at the beach. Say goodbye for now. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, beautiful Lake Superior. And we're almost there. We've got to walk through the woods for a little bit. It's a nice little trail. Now we're in Soft Pit Bay. This is uh, one of our original favorite spots where we used to come. This is where we find all our nice epidote, unikite. stopped here really quick to get some small pieces of basalt the little black rocks because uh, I'm making them for my uh, dragonfly tails I'm trying something new and uh, with the dragonflies that I'm making I'm gonna try to use rocks instead of well I was using rocks before but I would cut out a long sliver for a tail and it just they're not working out too well so I think this would be a lot better so that's why we stopped here nice and quick and just taking a nice little walk and uh, see what's along the beach. You might find something weird. You don't find any agates here. Penny just found a little eye agate, but there's uh, not much. Well, it's just another gorgeous spot to look at. Finally getting a little bit of sunshine, kind of sort of behind the clouds. Another shot of Lake Superior. This is the place to come if you want beautiful rocks. Let's have a little scan here. They have pre-tumbled by Lake Superior. Sun's coming out. Take three. 
it's Thanksgiving in Canada, so happy Thanksgiving to all our fellow Canadians. Hope you enjoyed your day. It's a beautiful day here. Now it's turning out nice. Now that we have to go home, it's been raining all day, so what are you gonna do?